I have some dahlias that have dried up and hopefully made seed for us. These were dahlias from my yard. So this dahlia was that Mystic Illusion dahlia. I'll give you a picture. It was really pretty. It was a single and it had dark foliage. So that would be cool if some of these had the single dark foliage aspects. But let me show you how to do this. Lots of different YouTubers have showed me how to find them. So let's see if we can get close enough to see if there's any seed in here. Oh, right there. So the seed will kind of sometimes be stuck to the outside petal material. So this is the seed right there. So I'm just going to continue to separate these out. I'll be back to show you how many seeds we got out of this good pile of dried dahlia heads. So what's interesting to me is I was just watching uh, Santa Cruz dahlias and some dahlias do not make any seed at all. I thought that was interesting. Especially when she's trying to hibernize, hybridize a whole bunch of them. And I guess singles make a lot more seed than anything else because the bees can get to the pollen. I love learning all things gardening. It just is so interesting to me. Okay, so let me go through this. That looks like a seed. Right there. So they're going to be more uniform of the arrow shape they look a little bit like zinnias but longer so i'm kind of turning into a dahlia geek i mean i've already got rose geek tomato geek might as well be a dahlia geek too but these big single mystic illusion dahlias have been giving me the most seed so i got quite a few seeds isn't that awesome and these will all be surprises. We won't know what they make. When you do a cutting, you'll get an exact clone of a plant. But when you grow something from seed, unless it's an heirloom seed, but dahlias are, they get pollinated by the bees and everything's a surprise. So thank you bees. I don't know how to hybridize them yet, but maybe I'll learn. Dahlias from seeds from my yard from the bees.